I'm convinced complete originality in art is a myth. It's impossible to not be influenced by our favorite artists, styles, or media we see online. But this isn't a bad thing. It's wonderful to see artists develop over time, going through phases of different inspirations, and ultimately watch those interests culminate into something uniquely them. I wouldn't worry too much about being influenced by other artists you admire. As long as you acknowledge it, it's a great way to improve your skills and spark creativity. As you'll see later on, I do this often by creating master copies to take some pressure off of myself when I still want to practice art. Our apartment community recently renovated our windows, and I love how clean and new they look. However, I had to move a lot of things around in the studio to clear up some space for them. As I was cleaning up, I decided it was time to update the art hanging on my wall. I've made some new pieces, and it gives me an excuse to do one of my favorite things, which is to go to the thrift store and pick out interesting looking frames. When I first decided to get back into art after a few years hiatus, I made a master copy of one of my favorite Monet paintings. I don't think it's too silly to say that that study changed my life. It allowed me to jump back into painting without worrying about creating something new right away. It also helped me share my journey with so many of you who encouraged me and said you related to my experiences. I'll always believe master studies are important for artists in many different ways. They can allow you to focus on practicing color mixing and replication without needing to solve other issues like the color palette, composition, and subject matter. When you're tired from a long day or week, those added problems can cause us not to have enough mental energy to make something we're proud of, which can lead to giving up after just a few tries. So when I'm feeling this way, I take some pressure off and do a master copy instead. Let me know in the comments below if you do something similar in your own art practices. Before I start painting, I want to thank Casetify for sponsoring this video. I love that their phone cases are not only protective, but also feature beautiful designs. Their latest protection technology, EcoShock, is embedded in their iPhone 14 impact cases and can withstand drops up to 8.2 feet, and their bounce cases can protect up to 21 feet. I'm a very clumsy person, but luckily Casetify's impact cases 
are drop tested four times the military standard to ensure EcoShock doesn't wear off. Plus, you don't have to compromise on sleekness or design to get this kind of protection. With over 2,000 designs made with artists from around the world, you're sure to find or customize one that matches your style. Their iPhone 14 cases are made from 65% recycled phone cases, and their phone straps and bead charms help you carry your phone with you anywhere hands-free. Whether you're upgrading your iPhone or not, head to casetify.com for their latest iPhone 14 Impact case series, as well as their cases for iPhone 13 or earlier devices. Go to casetify.com forward slash Ashley King today to get 15% off your order. Since I'm working on painting more impressionistically, I decided to do a master copy of one of the impressionist painters in this book I got from the library. Degas' The Absinthe Drinker stood out to me right away. I was looking for something that captured the same qualities I want to replicate in my own work, a significant emotional impression, some loose, expressive brushstrokes, and an interesting color palette.
I decided to crop this artwork, focusing more closely on the woman in Degas' painting. Her forlorn look conveys loneliness and maybe even regret while she sits next to the man beside her. I thought it was interesting to show only part of the man but his entire shadow in the composition to add to the feelings of loneliness in a crowded room. Artworks like this, that express so much emotion while leaving many questions unanswered, always hold my attention the best. I want to begin to create more complex compositions like this one, involving background elements, additional figures, and still life objects. I've not gathered enough courage to tackle this kind of painting on my own yet, but doing this master study has helped me to get an idea of how these elements can work together in a future painting of mine someday. Thank you for all your kind comments and support on these vlogs. I still have a few prints and original paintings available on my website. Wishing you the best. I'll see you next time.